there is only one indigenous broadcaster championing the cause for the restoration of Biafra. Biafra Human Rights Radio. Of course, unstoppable and remains the beacon of truth. It has been so since yesterday and it is today and forever. one or two challenges and um, we're back again and of course for record purposes it was important that i have to cut off the program and then start all over again and once again i say good morning good afternoon good evening and to some of you good night depending on your time zone this is radio biafra extra and we're streaming live through biafra human right and freedom radio station which is the embodiment of pro biafra group the de facto customary government headed by Alaji Asare Dokubo and deputized by our sister Rita Anabogo. And of course, I take the liberty to acknowledge and appreciate every member of the legislative arm as well as the executive arm. 
acknowledge members of the Biafra Nation Alliance, men and women who would have run in a time like this. But against all odds, they prefer to stand alone despite allowing the process to be corrupt or corrupted under their watch. No wonder Mazem Efo said to us he will not allow the heart of this project to see corruption. Of course, he anchors this platform. That's which we come from Efo is from Abatiti and Ambra State, Biafra land. And by the special grace of the Almighty Creator, I remain George Uni B, a hill from Abo and Yoma province to be precise. Acknowledge the Creator and people of conscience who identify with us in this very journey. And I say to the Creator of heaven and earth, He cannot allow us to be put to shame. He cannot allow the enemy to triumph over us. But in the end, we give Him all the glory, honor, and adoration. And so we move ahead to our topic this evening which is titled Biafra Organized the Institute, the only lasting solution to the already instituted anarchy. And of course, I was trying to create a preamble to make us understand the moment or the position we have found ourselves. In less than 42 hours ago, some unknown gunmen, like I said, being praised by Nandekano, holy unknown gunmen, evangelizing, under the Kano ministry, they went to Agolo in Anambra State, entered the beer parlor, and of course, they were young men and women who came from all that state, from within the region, and maybe across, beyond the borders, to do carry out a burial ceremony. The unknown government, the evangelists, holy men who want to give us Biafra, they opened fire, killed so many people there. That should be Saludo community, the governor's community. And then uh, we have other noblemen from this very community. And like I said a few hours ago, in Imo State, a Biafran, Ibu extraction, who is a police and the wife the same, both of them were killed, beheaded by unknown gunmen. And somebody goes, how did you know it's in Nandekano? How did you know it's unknown gunmen? My brother, we cannot continue to deceive ourselves. When they finish killing, they say, release our leader and the canoe, release our leader and the canoe. Except maybe DSS is doing that already. There is already initiated anarchy. We know how to put an end to this. But we are still, maybe some need to die more. Benjamin Madubugu is there controlling unknown government. Is he not getting the backup of Nigeria military? And sometimes we begin to wonder, who is deceiving who here? Benjamin Madubugu is in Anambra State. He here to be precise. Introducing terrorism. Killing his people. But we're going to give it down a blind eye. We don't know what you're saying. No, no, no. It's not a non can. It's full of ganja weed. Will it make the pain go away? There is already introduced and instituted anarchy. It is only when we embrace the truth and engage in the normal process is going to get worse. It will escalate. It will escalate. And sometimes when a man sees his end, he should begin to ask himself, was there any purpose for your existence in the first place? Anarchy have been institutionalized inside Biafra land. We are pampering it. We are looking for Biafra. This thing, a little mistake. It will go beyond the control of everybody. Our detractors are going to take their chance. They are seated already. They will laugh at all of us. And so when we say organized institute, when the word organized is used in this instance, it generally refers to as organization, which means an organized group of people with a particular purpose such as business or government department. When I say organize, organize, organize institute, organization, remain the only lasting solution that can put an end to the already instituted anarchy. A group of individuals must come with a purpose, with a gender, to achieve this aim. If you look at Dubai, for instance, it takes organization 
it takes an organizing institute to build the Dubai in 50 years. In 50 years, Dubai gave the world something they've not thought about when it comes to development, advancement, technology, and through those processes but their ability to organize themselves creating an organization with a, a particular agenda driving hard towards that direction until the aim the goal the target is achieved become the miracle that has happened in their own instance now here we are as a people of biafra going through the same process many nations across the world has been there but we lack this ability to properly organize ourselves. I will keep reminding you on daily basis until it gets to all of us and then we begin to walk towards that direction. Buhari made it clear when this agitation started. He said, Biafra, what are they talking? Biafra, they should go and organize themselves. We have many groups, we have many organizations, we have many people everywhere, but we are not organized. Being organized does not mean we, we, we need to go to heaven. Being organized does not mean we have to get PhD, acquire PhD from renowned university around the world. Being organized does not require professors, intellectuals, monarchs, opinion moda, leaders of thought to attend to that aid. Being organized it just requires a simple obedient commitment, sincerity. Of course, it does not come easily. As the definition implies, the state we have found ourselves as a people requires. It's impossible for us to have an organized institute. Which main agenda is to work towards a required a particular agenda because of a lot of factors which if you are looking to let's digress a little bit outside dubai let's take an example from libya libya was merely a desert the people of libya were hungry the people of libya were impoverished they were political unrest and issue of insecurity and Libya was a no-go area. It was here. Should I talk about Israel? Should I begin to mention about many countries today who will travel for holiday? A brother, they were in worse situation than us. But let's go back to Libya, which is African country. It was time for revolution. The monarch system in Dubai has done more damage to the country than they could ever imagine. And so a group of young men who were led by Muammar Gaddafi created a de facto government. And of course that should be 1st of September 1969. This group of young army officers gathered against King Idris in a bloody coup. And then Gaddafi emerged as the leader of Libya. Gaddafi transformed Libya into a new socialist state called Jamahiriya, state of the masses. He created a new form of a socialist country, which in English is referred to as state of the masses. And so in 1977, he officially adopted a symbol rule in governance but remain the head of both the military and the revolutionary committee, only Gaddafi. He was responsible for policing and suppressing dissent. It required organizing the people.
organized institute. The reign of the monarch Idris was not favorable to them. Young men of Libya came together. A revolution took place. A very bloody one. Which eventually made Momon Gaddafi the president of Libya. It was time for liberation. Resolution for the people of Biafra. We came together in an organized manner. We made him the Kano the leader. Not because he was God. Somebody has to be there. But let's continue following. And these people created a system of government which they refer as government of the people, country of the people, state of the masses. Don't you understand? And of course, for them to be able to restructure a well-organized Libya, they allowed Muammar Gaddafi to take charge of every process because they were organized. We all know how Mama and Gaddafi were killed. We all know the story they are trying to cover up today. But there are many things they don't tell you about Mama and Gaddafi. This miracle he brought about upon the people of Libya. To only be cited in somewhere like Saudi Arabia. This were achievable because these people were organized. And so in few years of his reign, let's not talk about what he has influenced the kind of development he has influenced or intended to bring about to the african continent let's focus on what he did for his people he gave free education throughout the period where Mama gaddafi was the president of libya he brought about free education he brought about free medical treatment for every libyans he brought about universal health care he brought about having a home to be considered as a basic right for every Libyan. He brought about free electricity. He built the world's largest immigration project, irrigation project rather. The world's largest irrigation project, he built it in Libya because most of the areas were desert. He made farming free business. Anybody that want to farm as a Libyan, free business. He gave Bosri allowance to newly uh, 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 nursing mother. He made petroleum product very cheap. He gave Bosri allowance to newly wedded couples. Should, should I continue? And this is what most people don't want us to have access to. It's not just about the imperialist. It's not just about the, 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 the conquerors. It's not just about the dictators. Even some simple rich man don't want the poor to be rich. And if you get try to upset that balance, making the poor to be rich, you're going to get ready for a fight you are not prepared for. And so, considering the position we have found ourselves, in order to make amends, we really need to be organized. We understand the processes that the revolution can be introduced. And so who are those who are supposed to die? Who are those who decide who die and who live? What are their aim? What are their interests? What are they supposed to achieve by the activity? Who organized them? Who moderated them? And now the people of Biafra we are still the same place. In my life, should I say I've not seen a set of confused people like we are? It's supposed to be presidential election, 2023. And I don't expect under normal circumstances to hear anything less than Biafra presidency. When I mean Biafra presidency, in fact, Igbo presidency. Nothing more. Nothing more is moral. Nothing. Am I telling you, Ibu man is going to do miracle? No. Am I telling you, Ibu man is... No, 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 no. You created Wazobia. You amalgamated three countries into one. And a cross-section of this Nigerian are born to rule. And then a cross-section are not born to rule. But then, it, it becomes a shame that we are the one now voting for Yoruba and Awosa to come and rule us. 
we are now the one campaigning Aosa must rule us. Tinubu must rule us. If only a mono. If only a mono. Our right has been taken from us. Trampled upon. For reason best known to all of you. But then, how can we become the same people? Who are now conversing? No, Aosa must rule us. This 2023. Aosa must rule us. In IPOB, we campaign for Atiku, for God's sake, with P2B. How long are we going to be messing around with our people? This is May. 38, we will remember those who died because of Biafra. The number continues to count on daily basis. And then if you are sincere, tell me who is that moral Ibu man that will come out and by mistake say let Yoruba rule, let Aosa rule in this dispensation. Something is wrong with you. But if Yoruba man wanted to stand up and speak for the Ibu, and the Ibu man is busy shouting, let Yoruba rule us, let Aosa man rule us, well, how do you think they're going to prefer, uh, how do you think they're going to look at you? Or you people don't have shame? Don't we have shame? I, I think most of our people are benefiting from the misery of our people. None of the countries are aware of this fact. You're benefiting from the misery of our people. And so what exactly do we want? Go to every political platform. Go to anybody talking about presidency. It is we, the people of Biafra, that are conversing for Yoruba and Aousa to continue to rule us. What is the problem? We need Biafra. We need a separate state outside Nigeria. And so what do we do? We claim to come and save our people. And then we resort to terrorism, killing our own people, and yet justifying these atrocities. Are you not losing your voice on daily basis? Are you not losing the moral ground to defend and fight for your rights? Are you enjoying the confusion you initiated in the first place? Considering the fact that this anarchy will grow worse, a general state of lawlessness will prevail. We take over the whole system. Only on one condition. That we work hard towards introducing an organized institute. And of course, there are areas we need to fight against. And number one is how do we manage the issue of betrayers? To be organized, we should be able to manage the issue of betrayer. How do we manage it? Gaddafi was set up. The media was used against him. They blackmailed him. And most of his people helped to betray him. Neto did their job well. And he's gone. Where, where is Libya today? The issue of betrayal must be addressed. Every component nation that make up Biafra land, all of them came out. They supported this process. Biafra must be restored. Who betrayed them? Who is still betraying them? And some of you think you can just wish you wish all these things away. My brother, you lie. The issue must be addressed. Now the canoe is God. He can decide who live and who die. He can choose to play God if he wants to play God. He can do anything. But now, he, according to his lawyer, he's crying for food. But of course, we know they are deceiving all of us. He's crying for food. Uh, and now the canoe is hungry in DSS. He's hungry. They would have dropped in, in one of these local prisons. By now, all of you who go and visit him will have Ebola. DSS has put him inside their condition say, you're coming here to play with our emotion. How do you handle the issue of betrayal? Who is betraying everybody? 
Nande Kano. Who is betraying everybody? How do you treat the issue of betrayer? Look at the position we are today. We keep telling you, this is not the way. This is not the way. And you know it's wrong. You are still contributing money. We think you are going to wish this evil away. You are hallucinating. You are a betrayer. Anybody funding unknown government, you are a betrayer. Anybody paying money that you are saving our people, you are the one killing our people. All of you are betrayer. The only thing you can do now is let the radio be everywhere. Create a platform for our people to get information. Anything outside that, you are betrayer. On a daily basis, our people are being killed. For me, they were unknown government. They went to evangelism. They killed 20 people. All of them are your people. I think May is here already. So 30th of May we remain about those who die because of Biafra. Inclusive are those who die in the hand of unknown government. Because all of them are linked to Biafra. When are we going to stop this betrayal? When? When are we going to stop betrayal? And so when we look at those who say, oh, we want to give you country, the life of your people don't mean anything to you. How could you possibly be fighting for their freedom? You are a betrayer. That issue must be addressed. How do we manage the issue of victims of their own occupation? Creating the institute that will help us call the work in a coordinate manner. You don't know how many enemies that have been created in, as a result of Nanekano shenanigan. You don't know. There was a time China Sangoru was out there to kill Chijuku or Taji. And the Nesoku and more. Among others. I want China I said, what are you doing? Even though these people did something wrong, why not ignore them? channel other a, a way to move this struggle forward and leave these people alone because at the moment i cannot agree with you that they have committed these sins which is alleged against them i told him because this thing you are doing you are making these people open enemy and this is something you are not ready for you can't control it she knows and what you told me we are aware of it and we are waiting for them. But China Sangulu, you have no idea the process you people have initiated. Because you will be fought in an atmosphere where you have not been before. In that terrain where you will be an alien. It has not started. So how do you handle the issue of betrayal? The people who built Dubai, they all think they were busy killing themselves they loved their people and so they built their country their only aim was the comfort of their people their only target was to see their people happy and whoever these men and women are today when they sit down and look at how comfortable their people are they are happy they are fulfilled they are satisfied and they want to do more because they are organized institute I went through their documentary program on how they manage their oil resources. Do you know Dubai have an oil facility where they can even monitor a single drop of oil? Do you know you cannot remove a single drop of oil from uh, 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 Dubai refineries without the record? They organized an institute to manage every tiniest area of their life. Why wouldn't these people survive? Why wouldn't these people succeed? Because it is not the money, it is not the wealth that drives them. 
it is the love they have for their people the ones you have betrayed how are you going to solve the problem because it's a more problem how do you address that issue gradually a lot of people their statement is changing because when unknown government kill your family and now you see what we are telling you but until it gets to you it's okay a husband and a wife were beheaded these are people's parents these are people's children these are people relative how are you going to manage that issue I am one of such issue. And each time I see it, people think oh, that is bluffing. Why would I do that? This very Biafra we are looking for. If Unan the Kanu is going to restore Biafra, and then that Biafra will not come. I would have said it will end in his village. But his village don't believe in his Biafra. And now if you have people like me, like 70, how do you address such issue? Where do you think Unan the Kanu is going? With the atrocity he has committed with the wicked heart before our mind but the real people they halted the real people they betrayed the real people they murdered they have not spoken out yet how do you manage it how do you fight this sentimental war the battery issue to be considered if we must be able to build an organized institute these are areas we need to begin to work towards how do we fight this sentimental war how we were in one forum biafran forum and we were having arguments this morning our brother chief rafael wazriki campaigned for bello yahaya be yahaya habello to be the next president and in my own opinion, how which he said, let it, uh, is it you well or did he be Joel? What is his name? I wish he has said, let me to be B. Or I wish he have kept quiet. But some people say, I leave Chief Rafael Wazirike, don't organize it. This is a sentimental war. This is what is killing us. Chief Rafael was really supposed to keep quiet and ignore everybody. When will Yoruba come and, and say, Igbo must rule, Igbo must rule, give power to Igbo? When will Awosa do that? And then some people will call, No, you should not say that. Don't judge anybody. Don't do this. Is a sentimental war. It will destroy all that is left of us. And then another person say, hey, the, uh, Asari is supporting Tinubu. Uh, why will Asari support Tinubu? But did Asari, did Asari uh, 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 come to take the protest for Tinubu? Some recruit, idiot, hungry boys. Only God knew where they come from. They say they are Niger Delta militant. Yes, Tinubu must rule us. Tinubu must rule us. This is a sentimental war. If you talk to Rubu, you can say uh, it's because Ibo is talking to Rubu. Rubu talk to Ijo. He's uh, because Ijo is talking. Ijo talk to this. Everybody sentimental war. How do you manage this issue? Only people who love their people. You, 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 you need to listen. Pay attention to what is going around. Because what goes around comes around. We have seen wickedness in the highest order. But we cannot lose faith or trust in our people. We continue to believe in them. And when we have reason not to do so, then we improvise. As a new belief Christian, I walk under a deacon in my church. He was my boss then. And we were having a conversation. He said, if you are a Christian, one of the first thing quality you must develop you should be able to trust everybody not because they should be trusted but trust them until they give you reason not to trust them or something then you must trust them when are we going to stop fighting this sentimental fight 
let's let's let, let me go to my facebook and, and and maybe cite another example of fighting sentimentally some people are there oh uh, let, let 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 me see what now the kind of followers may be saying if you say where is this one vivian i follow this page because of truth vivian god bless you uh let's let's see it's like uh china and is not paying recruit I, I cannot see insult yet praise the lord anyway i wanted to show you insights of fighting sentimental war because ordinarily we told them they will be tired we will come on air like this you you see now the kind of recruit they pay young men to come and insult us and uh, even now the kind of alone do your own uh, leave him alone do your own this is a sentimental fight do you know how many people who want to pay me money to stop talking about the Nandekano? Do you know how many people who see me as a demon because I expose the demon, the criminal call on Nandekano? But now it's not about me. If we open our mouth and tell you what we go on daily basis to make sure this atrocity of Nandekano does not go beyond brother, it will shock you. The issue of sentimental fight must stop. I have been in the midst of people who don't know I am George Onyibe. And they are talking of George Onyibe. Do you know what they were saying? I got up work out, bro, Onyibe. But if I come and say I'm not Igbo, the same Igbo will say, oh, he say it's not Igbo. Wike is not Igbo. Amechi is not Igbo. He deny Igbo. They don't know I'm George Onyibe. Ignore that boy. These are sentimental fights. How many tribes do we have in Dubai? How many tribes do we have in Libya? You have black Libyans. In fact, Gada, uh, 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 Mormon Gaddafi special military squad were all of black women. I'm not sure blacks still have their right in Libya. Go and look at the special forces that work with Gaddafi. They were army made up of black women. Sentimental fight. But of course, I am the original Ibu. You are the fake one. If you think otherwise. It's a sentimental fight. It is this sentimental fight that making man the canon to reduce supposedly volunteer to Ibu security. Eastern security. Today now, the person who made the audio of the death that is recorded in Agoro, Anambra State. He say ah I am not over on the uh 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 Ibubagu man I won't do no government who and the canoe now are you telling me under the most circumstance Ibubagu Ibubagu will wake up and then start to kill Ibo people Ibubagu will begin to kill Ibo people are you telling me you believe this and then if you do you are fighting sentimentally because now the cannot castigated them, now the cannot told you they are info, and so even though they are not. Have you tried to wonder why now the cannot sat to betray Bubago? 90% of Ibubago were IPOB loyalists, betrayed by now the cannot, betrayed by the DOS China Samuru. And I'm, you get the point. But let's stop fighting sentimentally if somebody do wrong tell the person what you did is wrong he has a choice to accept or not to accept the Igbo nation have a responsibility the Igbo nation have a responsibility to who much is given much is expected you cannot be tired you may not be perfect but let the only thing that you treasure now is that we must get this job done to get this job done stop fighting sentimentally face the truth for god's sake get on it we open our eyes we see the truth we know this color is white and then we analyze because we have certain edge against a prophet or another person and tell you no this white is green why why are we so wicked why and of course the fault there is that how do we project the truth 
to our people and stand by it at all costs. These are the areas that must be addressed. If we want, if we believe that yet the process must be organized as the only solution. The issue of telling our people the truth. How do we tell them the truth? There is a way they say the truth. It's, it's not... It, you just have to. You just have to. In most cases, you are not even wrong. But you have to accept you are wrong. So everything can move on. Paul said, why can't you believe, accept, agree that you are wrong so that there will be peace? He didn't say you are wrong. How do we tell our people the truth? How? Because these issues are, is minor to most of you. But my happiness is that those who backed it up, they are bearing the brunt. Why don't you tell the people the truth? Why don't we tell our people the truth? How do you tell them the truth? Uh, our people who, uh, this is the reason why we have came out. And uh, it is not very clear how we go about it. But we will do everything humanly possible to make sure the right thing is done. You start the process. And then along the line, you discover your brother has offended you. You call your brother and tell your brother uh, this thing you did is wrong and so on and so forth. I called somebody uh, yesterday and I said something to the person and he didn't believe me. But after the conversation, the person did not turn off the phone. The phone was still on. And so he was castigating me. This is a relative. I was supposed to go to somewhere. And I forgot. Honestly, I forgot. And I called him the very day we were supposed to go there. And said, ah, brother, I didn't know it's today. I forgot. He said, I understand, I understand. And then after which, he was in the company of about four persons. He started telling that he can imagine. He's lying. How can he forget? So why did he call me now? How did he remember now? There is no rubbish this guy did not vomit. And I took my time. I listened. And after they have castigated me, said all manner of evil against me, there was nothing to listen. I off the phone. And now, I was not provoked. I did not feel bad. They just don't believe I forgot we had such appointments. I'm saying this because they are my relatives. I have suffered that in the hand of other people. But I want you to understand how we can be able to project the truth to our people. And then I called my brother later on. I'm very fully well. I'm not angry. And I said, you see, issues that concern you, I don't take it serious. It's just because of some of these things you did. Do you know when we were talking, you didn't call to the phone? Do you know and heard everything you people said? I think he's still sick now. Fever catch until now. But believe me, I don't have anything against him. Because God just made me to see the kind of mindset those people have for me. It still happened in IPOB. When my son was looking for admission to Imo State University, we contacted a, 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 a professor in that university, Imo State. Do you know the moment that man knew this is my son? The man told IPOB member in Imo State that over his dead body, my son will not school in Imo State. I'm telling you, even as African rep in IPOB. And what is my crime? My crime is that this man is inviting me. He wants to see me. 
And then now they cannot ask me not to go anywhere except the Kejuku go and give me go ahead. And so I can't go and see anybody. Now they cannot give me a memo through Chike Dosiem. I should not go to IPOB meeting. I cannot associate. If I want to do that, I should go to a junior principal officer, Ike Chukuguoha, to take permission before I go anywhere. But I don't need to begin to tell you all this. Maybe it's for all our good in the end. I can't tell the man, ah, this is the law now the canoe put to. And the man went on and vowed. He succeeded. He did it. And when he knew the truth later on, it was too late. And now, these are issues. We can must tell ourselves the truth. If I carried him in my mind, how will I treat him? Now, the kind of we sit down, lie against people, lie against them, destroy them completely. And you think all these people are going to keep quiet? People like us have to speak out so people like you can learn from it and be very cautious of what you do considering the fact that it's going to affect all of us negatively one way or the other in the nearest future. If we can find solution to this very problem, believe me, everybody will be able to come on board and there will be no need for us to begin to repeat the same story. And asking the same question to which we already know the answer. The people of Biafra, the process has started. But look closely. It is compromised. Almost every inch of what we are doing is compromised. Can't we tell ourselves the truth? We say, go get your PVC. Now they cannot say, no. If we see you as I neck worker or you are taking PVC, we will kill you. They carry out this threat. Okay, we say we will not vote. No election in Biafra land. Now they cannot move on. Collect their money from Atiku and P2B and seal us and document us. Why can't we tell our people the truth? And we did vote. All our terms and conditions haven't been met. Haven't consulted our elders. We hereby lift off the election boycott. So what are those terms and conditions that we met? There will be no need for this story. We'll find the de facto customary government. It is in our right to get involved in the politics, in the contest, in the Biafran contest, not in the Nigerian state. And then we are here shouting, vote for Igbo man, vote for Igbo man. Igbo man is shouting, vote for Awosa, vote for Yoruba. We are here shouting, vote for Biafra man, vote for Biafra man. Biafra people are shouting, vote for Yoruba, vote for Awosa. Are you telling me you organize? You're telling me you want the good for your people? You're telling me we are going to get out of this mess in the nearest future? Let us allow the love for our people to supersede the love we even have for ourselves. One day I will be dead and I will be gone. I may not even remember that I've been here before. But what happens after I am gone will be determined by what I leave behind. I remind you once again, there are men and women we know nothing about them. I don't know who Simon Baku is. If you show me a picture and say, who is this man? If his name is not written there, I don't know who he is. But I know my father sang his praise. My father sang his praise. And my people love whoever this man is. I think he's dead. Yet he speaks to all of us. And not until you live your life for another. My brother, you, are, you, are, you have not started living your life. 
And so when Yoruba come, Yoruba come, Aosa come, Fulani come, they give us money. We start speaking with both sides of our mouth. How can we remove ourselves into this mess? How can we remove ourselves? How can we institutionalize the process? The love of the people drive the people of Dubai. And everything they do today, it is characterized by single fact that Dubai's loved their people. Evidence abound. Whatever Gaddafi did, in his absence, it is evidence now that he loved the people of Libya. The people of Libya now agree to the simple fact that he loved them. Let them attend to that level. Let us allow law for our people to lead us, to drive us, and stop getting involved in all these things that will destroy us. Nobody is perfect. We are all human. We make mistakes. But then make correction. You make amends. And so for us to be able to go home, for us to be able to restore our dignity, occupy our place of authority, having that privilege to walk with our head lifted up within the global communities, the ultimate solution lies in organizing or institutionalizing or introducing an instituted organization. You make it real. You avoid most of the things we have pointed out. We can do this. We can achieve this. Be real to yourself. If we want Igbo presidency, what are we supposed to do? If we want Igbo presidency, what are we supposed to do? If we want Biafra, what are we supposed to do? I'm not talking about a cross session. I'm talking about all of us. If we want electricity, what are we supposed to do? If we want medical health facilities, what are we supposed to do? If we want our land to be developed, what are we supposed to do? You see, we know the truth already. We know the truth already. But application looks like it's the problem. And now understand, on this platform, we have spent more of our energy in damage control. And we're not regretting it. We continue working hard towards this direction. And somewhere along the line, you will know the truth. And understand, it is not the hatred of anybody that drives us. But the hatred behind this atrocious act. It's what compels us to sometimes go out of the way to do the right thing. It is not too late. What we dream for, what we long for, what we bled for, what some of our people have died for is still achievable. Join the Afro Nation Alliance. Join the de facto customary government. Get involved in some of the activities going on. We're not telling you anybody there is perfect. We're telling you some of those things are not good. I cannot come out and begin to attractly antagonize anybody. But if you do something that is wrong, I will tell you what you are doing. It's wrong. I don't agree with you. Fair enough. And that is why on the Biafran de facto customary government, that makes up other pro Biafran group, all with different ideology. We're not fighting against each other. We just want to believe that even though we are ignorant to the fact that you are doing something that may not or is perceived to have been wrong, let us believe it's going to yield a positive result that will aid us in this very process. And then at the end of the day, we can look back and say, Ah, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, I misunderstood you. But let's not look behind and say, Kai, this is evil. Because you will not like the reception. Go on asking the Kano. He will not like the reception. The people of Biafra, let us come back and 
create an institution, create an atmosphere, create a group of people with agenda. Well, let's ask ourselves, what do we want? What do we want? And how do we go about it? You see, the answers to this question may not be acceptable to by many of us. But the issue can be reconsidered. You cannot sit back because a lot of things are going worst. From bad to worst on daily basis. Let us stand up and stop the activities of terrorist groups. Of course, inclusive of unknown government and ESM of Fernando Cano. And so that when the Fulani comes, we'll be no, able to know who are trying to kill our people. This madness, if they carry it out of the southeast, it is going to rapture their fraternity. And it is still being promoted in the southeast because majority of you are fighting sentimentally. Our brother is Uchuku Ukuli. His brother is from Anambra. He went to see his people. On his way back to Portacourt, he was killed by Nandekanu Holy Ongo men, Holy Evangelists. When they finish doing what they are doing, they are yeah, releasing Nandekanu, releasing Nandekanu. How many more will have to die? They position themselves on a safety advantage. They risk the life of others. Do you know because Nelson Mandela fought for apartheid that his first and only son was killed? He will do any sacrifice, we do anyone, we do it. But this is a lie. Like I said, it is not too late. Let everybody come on board. But we must apply our heart to reasoning. Let us save the next generation. Let us avoid this evil that will worsen our situation. If you cannot vote for Igbo presidency, then shut up. Don't vote for any other person. Don't campaign for any other person. Let everybody campaign for themselves. on it. Somebody wake up one day and tell you he's born to rule you. And he has been ruling you. Rule you in the police station, rule you in the army barrack, rule you in the hospital, rule you in the central bank, rule you in the Asso Rock, rule you in the motor park, rule you inside the farm, rule you everywhere. We need to get ready. And the process has begun. On this note, I will bring this very message to an end. Why the very powerful weapon that can destabilize us is being initiated because it's politics politi time let our people open their eyes don't be carried away when Atiku and P2B were pumping money to IPOB of course Roger Sokorocha knew what I'm saying they never knew Nigeria will not allow that is that not why Opus or them might become governor of uh, Imo State it's IPOB criminal activity involving a Nigerian politics that made Hopus Odema the governor of Imo State. In a hundred lifetime, not under Buhari Watch, you cannot do Hopus Odema anything. Because he had your was supposed to be the, 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 the governor somewhere along the line where money has exchanged hand. And so if Hopus Odema is not doing well, he's not supposed to do well. Because he's the friend of your enemy. On this note, we will have to bring the program to an end. I say look for the Fatu customary government and join. Criminality in Biafra land must stop. Criminal activity of unknown, unknown government must stop. Criminal activity of ESM must stop. Criminality must stop. Anambra people, it's not just to come online and then show security and you don't do anything. You need to respond. Because they are testing water. And you people know where to stop this info. But you have to fight sentimentally. The 
people of Biafra must make sure this message go far and near. Let our people know the truth. Per adventure, we will get home on time. Haven't been able to control this mess. The line number to call is 08065875555. On this program, the number to call is 08065875555. And of course, if you cannot access the line and you have access to any of my social media platform, you're free to call in and make your contribution. And of course, I have a, a caller on the line. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Yes, good evening. Yes, Odugu, good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good evening to everyone listening so far. Good morning and good afternoon, depending on your time zone. So I just want to thank you so much for the program. So far, it's easy look because it takes a lot of courage. And time, of course, network issues. Uh, try and speak up without no. to your phone. Try and speak up, please, brother. Or maybe you have to call it and then see if you can call back again. And of course, the lines are still open. If you're able to call in, you make your own contribution. We must create that atmosphere that will enable us to organize. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. It's better now. Go ahead, please. So, uh, like I was saying, sir, uh, I said, um, you, you know, people must try and open up their hearts, see the actions, whether it is good or bad, and try to uh, take blames for it when, nece when necessary. The truth sometimes is really hurtful, but you have to accept it. It doesn't have to be sweet. You know, most of these, most of these times we have been... In uh, China, most of us have been shying away from uh, the responsibility some of our father, some of the mistakes our father did, and we, we have been very shy to say it. We have said mistakes our father did, and, and currently some of our misguided brothers are still doing till date, and some people are trying to fight sentimentally because of one. Then you have to cover up the evil, cover back to people. To us. Better people that we are of that. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt us in future. It's gonna hurt us in future. Look, if so, now the camera and his boys cannot be people. People we all know, who, and people doing it. We know their houses. We know them very well, like Benjamin Madugu. And we also know that he he he, he has contact with the Nigerian army. And the same time, the Nigerian army that his brother Benjamin Madugubu was a sickly army, those army colleagues, the key army, the key police, and those who are still watching them, instead of them to go and pick up their leaders, they are still you see a lot of the key your colleague, and you still give you see shoot him when necessary. This is the level of compromise we are talking about. And people should know you won't talk about any except those who want to be grammatical.
politically correct or uh, 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 maybe uh, uh, being a kilometer with the truth don't, don't even bring out even coming dss or nigeria army of killing anybody that they hit any army key any innocent person or not to blame it on their uh, land they can you say leaders let me just put the leaders for people looking for political uh, political solution blame it on those people don't blame the army because the army don't know who is who that is that is the first truth the army don't know who is who anymore because i said that you, you see those people the key army i see a bunch of misguided brother videoing the thing i say power power healing on no government and you, mot you are motivating those people killing and then comes come come to attack you shall start you, you stop screaming and they are killing us they are killing us but you where they they kill the army and the police and you are healing those the the criminals the band is killing the army and when the army comes comes for revenge you and do this this uh car was run will, will leave and run into the bush and you'll be vulnerable they have to they, 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 they have they have to put their aggression on something at least to 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 to, to, to regain their integrity if i thought something happened if, if i thought it's happening if it's happening now i don't know so i'm just saying because the level the, the level of criminality currently in southeast in terms of this unknown government and some people are trying to cover the tracks all in the name of one one nine uh, we have to uh, it, it is it is not a punk it is a it is a uh, it is a uh, politicians uh, it is opposition party this this, this is a height of insincerity in leaders who have current some of the leaders who have in southeast somebody like who who know who they are that call them by their names and because it, election is around, coming around the corner he tried to sound politically correct that it, they are not the ones that it is opposition party who is the opposition party is it not a, a punk that has been serving as opposition party in the first place is are they not the ones that started the killing with, with the help of none they can when he incited the violence because we cannot overrule this it can never be overruled he incited it he orchestrated it and masterminded everything even on air and underground and we have some politicians there you are you are playing politics with the life of your people and uh, uh, we, we, we come and help us identify the if you see you are not the ball what you know the same people you are telling to, how can you call it a criminal to come and catch a criminal they happen the criminal oh, they, 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 come and join us let us catch your fellow criminal where does it happen this is the this this is this people have contracted the 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 fact the law the, the law contract this off calling the criminal to come, come and catch a criminal telling uh, uh, Benjamin Madhu to come and cash in uh, or bright, bright, go and cash a uh, China Sabun. This is impossible punching people. And people are trying fighting sentimentally. If we go, if we <laughs> and even at the, this currently now we, we should be encouraging our people to get into the politics of our territory first because it is now for us to take control of our people uh, uh, control control of our territory because currently we, we, we know there's a sanitary state because for several fires that have happened there are service to quench it it has happened in Alhambra state several times and there's no fire service to quench it so who are, are we going to blame uh, not Buhari, or are we going to blame uh, the west or the urban people no it's uh, uh, the government because the state this 
Tu sais, je suis pas vrai. We are out, 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 That just for him to see that this has been living large. Criticize, worry, not a fire I know that the ability to your face. And that those people should be doing, but what I don't know when he's doing it. Okay, only if you are doing it actually, because I can't say no, because this nonsense is not happening in a bond. States, so you might can't say this, can't even in English. I leave this at once as it is now, yeah. And that is where the son of Elu Hack come, come from. You, you, you will never see him call out the evil, the nonsense, the 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 the, 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 the level of degradation of life going on in Abdias. He never for once for one day condemn it. <laughs> okay, zip bazo, okay, zip bazo, okay, zip bazo. He ends there, he collects his money and he ends there. So uh, our people should not fight sentimentally. Like I would, I want to jog, jog, just few minutes. I round up. When I was growing up, I grew up in a family. My mother, well, my own mother, we, we dare not fight outside. And if you fight outside, you must beat that person you, you want to fight it. I must make sure you are not at fault. And whenever, whenever we are at fault, my mother in front of people will say, "My son is at fault." And if they beat me when I get home, she will beat me more. For fighting out, for fighting outside, for being at fault, you say it publicly. She doesn't. She doesn't. Uh, that's why I grew up having that mind of uh, when something is is wrong, we say it. When we are right, we say it. So that is some of things uh, people have to op be open-minded. In the narration of uh, Dubai, how their leaders develop their place. It it is not magic. It is. No magic. This is not magic. The, the, the people that started this is uh, they are they are they are they are this people they are they are, they are, they are, they are they, it is their children that continue to have attacked. It is their grandchildren that are currently uh, manning those uh, projects still going on. Currently, as I'm speaking, even though some of them are still alive. Uh, okay, their grandfathers are dead. The people that started it are dead. They don't. The, the people continue to this to this extent. They are alive, but they are tired. They are children are the one controlling everything now. But because there is an agenda, they phone the agenda. So let us let us have unity of purpose, not instead of everybody running head and skaters seeking for personal ambition instead of collect, collective uh, effort let us do things develop our place come back home develop our place but what will our people come back home when we have some misguided brothers running on running, running on, 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 on violence on their fellow brothers and sisters innocently now the cattle we are killing now we've seen that 99 percent of them belong to our own brothers and now, who, you will tell me tomorrow, you come and tell your brother, you are fighting for his... You can you tell him such thing, because you, you destroy his life, his family, his source of living, you destroy it, just to bring out one criminal in DSS dungeon. And you, you, Nigeria should recycle the Ibrahima, they should recycle him and let us uh, end this uh, uh, drama. Thank you Dr. very much. And maybe some of the people should go and get their PVCs. Let's take control of our territory. Uh, the error for shouting, hey, the fool I need is not very, very federal, federal government, federal. Let us start from state government first. If the state governments are, are, are running up and doing, then I, I, let's see if, if there will, will not see changes at the federal side. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, my brother. And of course, the truth cannot be overemphasized. It requires a meticulous planning. 
it requires somebody who have genuine love for his people it requires complete sincerity all these things we are talking about is just story when we were sincere with ourselves in IPOB, we go to this level. But since men decide to become fraudulent, deceit in nature, where have you gone to? Where did you get to? What is your achievement? What is the achievement? This is how you judge issue. Why are you here in the first place? What are the goals, target? What are the agenda? And what is the achievement? If you're telling yourself the truth, and then let's assume you're not doing well, you now create room and opportunity for you to examine those areas where you are not doing well. And then you begin to do better. We cannot deceive ourselves. We cannot hold ourselves down for a very long time. No. Let us face the truth of the matter. While we agitate for the restoration of Biafra, it is also important for us to understand that yes, we have that rightful place to do what we are doing. A caller on the line, your name and where are you calling from? Caller on the line, I'll call you back. Caller on the line, your name and where are you calling from? Can you hear me? Call on the line. Hello, good evening, sir. From here. Good evening, and welcome to the program. I go on you. Go ahead, please. Thank you, sir. I really just want to thank you for the group you are doing. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on your time zone. You people are really trying hard to help us, educate us, and let us know what is actually happening. I don't have much to say because we've already analyzed everything. I appreciate you and thank you for the good work you are doing. Uh, during the auto program, I really listened to what uh, our de facto customary government deputy said. She really analyzed many things concerning this experience of uh, Things will never get better when all of us will tell ourselves the truth. Now that we have come to realize that it's only lies that runs through the system of Ikberima and all his uh, bingos, it's high time that we have to stand by and to tell ourselves the truth. Because in the situation whereby somebody come out and deliberately lying and he knew very well that he's lying, and they are doing it because they always do it and get away with it. She even made mention of the things happening in Ebony State. We will go and get the video from that place and come and use it to be deceiving people. Not even just getting video from them. Rather, he has his own secret uh, security apparatus. He was building before that he wanted to use during election. The people that later met him, him forced to ESM. He uses them to fight all those fights. Because a huge amount of money is always... When this side begins, he will he send some of them to go and follow and fight that fight and collect the money. And the other side, that's what he has been doing. That guy has been doing evil in our land that is hidden and nobody knows about it. Unless those that know. And the people kept him mute. He has been doing this, but been everybody. Even when he brought the chronographic uh, video of Ambazonia claiming to be his own people, 
Many people analyze that video and find out that he is superimposed the voice of their own people upon the voice of the real video. And all these things we are later found out, and many people are still following him specially. And like I said, our sister then mentioned of that where he get the power from. Actually, the kind of court he found himself is a very strong one. Where he, he used his mother and the father. What else do you people think that will be done without uh, I said to him using people's blood to be increasing in power in his occultic kingdom? And he have some devilish politicians that is by his back, backing him and sponsoring him. That person, when our people will stand up and call a spade a spade, he, that person and his family will never live to enjoy the evil they have committed in our land. Look at what they are using people to do, killing people here and there, and he is happy. Gathering the money and everything, all our suffering right from ages. One person gathered it and kept, and kept it for himself and his entire family, and people are keeping him quiet. Lying, and they, 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 just like my sister said to them, all the criminals he, he, he trained continued from where he stopped. All this rubbish they are doing, autopilot attacking a uh, 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 DOS, DOS attacking a uh, Hindu. This and that, all these things are drama. But that drama we metamorphose to the time that they will kill themselves. That one is basic because cause has been laid upon them and that cause will continue to follow them. They are cause entities. They will never mani <laughs> manifest to anything good. That evil they lay in our land will continue to consume them. They may think that they are playing the drama. They will not know that that drama will cut up with all of them. There is not much gospel in evening class. I just want to thank you for the good work you people are doing. Uh, our people have been talking. We have been talking. I really thank uh, Daddy for being Daddy in the Lord. I really thank him for the good work he is always doing. Because he's always coming on air to educate us. Out of season and in season, I really appreciate him. And I appreciate you people that are always there educating us. You people should not give up because none of us is giving up. And we must continue. We must keep on keeping on. We go no way. No matter all the shenanigans, no matter what they do, like as I normally tell them, it's not everybody you will intimidate and it's not every soul you will waste and go free. There are souls that if you try it, you will go by it. And all the destructions they are causing, all the killings they are killing, thinking that they themselves will not one day face that killing. They are just hallucinating. One day, they will now know that that thing they are doing, another person can do it to them. And the land we are marching, the land of Biafra that we are marching on, we definitely fight for itself because they brought an they brought abominations onto our land. This ever I was born and bred and grown. I've never seen this kind of evil they brought into our land with those that are supporting them. Whether you are supporting them openly or secretly, either by omission or commission, you must definitely go into it and it must hook you. And that is Simon Epa. I would have advised him as a brother concerned or as a, uh, all of us are from the same place, no matter what, the same father, the same mother, who all of us as far as we are, dear friends. You're supposed to remove yourself from that place you are hanging yourself. You think that you are trying to showcase yourself. You, you, the level Perima has reached, you thought that you are going to hijack everything all over from his hand and the people will start clapping hand for you. You are beating what you will not be able to chew. You better step down from that place. Otherwise, like I said, the Sarita said, your own, your own reward will be greater than that of Ekperima because Ekperima did it when people did not know. When we realize that he is just using our aid to make money, 
and you yourself started it, just jumped into what I, other people have already built upon. You thought that you will bamboozle everybody. It's not true. People are wise now, and every eye is on you people. There's no way you people will hijack whatever other people started, good work other people started, because you people are good in hijacking. Now, you people talked about the cow. No cow meat, no cow meat. You have started killing people's cow. And now killing people that are doing a uh, celebration, join. Tomorrow, a ma a powerless will come out to issue press statement that you are not the one doing it. I don't know who are those ones doing it after running to Abuja. Instead of staying in, in Imbo land, Afaruku, where they claim that they are king, he's running to Abuja. I don't know whether he wants to join his brother in DSS, but the time shall come. So I don't want to talk much. I just want to greet you, sir, and thank you for the good work you are doing. Let me just pin it to here. Good night from here, sir. Thank we go you. nowhere. We go nowhere. Bye bye, sir. Thank you very much, Agowani. And of course, our people must understand what we say, what we do may not be in your favor. But one thing is very important it is your consideration, it is your at your own favor advantage that guys what we do without that we're wasting our time i'm joined by our daddy in the lord can you hear me sir yes i can hear you my evening, reverend sir, thank here. you sir you're welcome today yeah, my brother thank you thank you so much for what you're doing for us and thank you to each and every one of the participants who already made contribution, I just had I don't want it, and I think I had a double. I will do if I'm not mistaken. And um, yeah, thank them. I want to appreciate them. Uh, that's all it takes to continue this message. Uh, there's no amount of intimidation or blackmail or anything that will stop this message. Uh, you know now, uh, my reverend, that. Uh, People are now saying to, I, I receive a lot of idiots writing me, uh, telling me, uh, why don't you stop talking about uh, and the kennel and just uh, do your own thing. Uh, if people see that what you guys are doing, uh, they will join. That is better because I'm jeopardizing the lives of dear friends. Uh, by uh, exposing Nandika. I honestly, I, I said, oh my God, is this where we that, have that is, it, that, the, is, that is how bad it can be. That is how bad it can be. You know? They are not concerned yeah. about what is going on. They will call you and they will mm -hmm. even on the canal. Some of them say, go and write book. You will, will help you market it. Some of them even pay for radio stations. You go and be broadcasting and leave on the canal. Can you not imagine that? So, every day we see this evil. Okay? All these things that he started. Because it wasn't this bad. It wasn't this bad. Okay? In the first place, if we are truly here to liberate our people, is it by exposing the people you say you are liberating? And I tell them, honestly, I say, wow. Is this where we are now that no single sense? And the idiot, the idiot was so. Yes, you're back. Something, something now. is not right. You're back now. Network problem. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, not sure. Go ahead. Am I coming You're out? You're coming out now. Go ahead. Okay. So I was, I was saying first. I suspected that you were. You know, the last uh, note that I got. I said, let me call this guy and see what's up to him, so I can use the opportunity to ask him to clarify what he just wrote to me. 
And I saw him on the messenger. I called him three times. He will not pick up. And I said, okay, by the way, you have lost your chance to explain yourself because I'm not ready to continue to give personal calls like that. This is quite unimaginable. There are people are thinking in that direction. I, for whatever reason, I'm not sure if they think that what is what we are doing right now is going to give us freedom. That's one thing. Very concerned. And then the other part of it is the, the besieging, the incursion of the, 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 the full anti terrorist army in our land. Okay? Now, uh, we are no longer, we can't find him because you know that uh, they give ultimatum to, for the full anti Janja witch to leave Biafra land, that they don't want to see any points in Biafra land. Okay, the other he, he fool they, they call uh, um, Rabbi Chas. We don't know where he is now. Gave another three months. Okay, and as the army, you know, they will give you three months or whatever you see you get. That is one of these bingos and the puppies around the land. The way he's making the video, uh, anybody that knows Saludo should go and tell Saludo, uh, is this how we are going to be living in this land? He should come here and do something. That army and police are blocking from Idemli, coming down, rolling down Idemli to Aba Junction. Took them five hours, according to him. And he's calling Saludo. He's calling Saludo to come and remove the army. Okay? I, you know, I can't understand this. I can't understand this reasoning. When they were boasting of uh, removing and frying every full army, uh, uh, army in the land, uh, you know, in a minute, they don't remember these things. When they launched their ESN that now turned into uh, um, unknown government that a lot of idiots are still clapping for. They don't remember. And according to them, the ESN is in the bush. But we do know that the guys here that are moving around now, both with maturity and everything, that are causing mayhem in the land. It's nothing else but the same ESN. Because in, the, in their little videos, they are impressing upon the people that they are here to save them from the hands of the flan. And now, from going down from a Metallurgical Institute down to Alba Junction, it's taking somebody five hours to get by because army blocked the road, collecting, extorting them. And if you don't give money, they bring you down. They, you stay, they won't even ask you to clear. The whole people that are behind you will wait until they finish dealing with you and collect what they need to collect from you before they let the, the traffic flow. If it's true or not, I'm not there, but I saw a, a line of vehicles. I saw a traffic. The, the, you know, the, it's like the vehicles are not moving. Okay. And, and these people cannot stop. For whatever reason, their common sense has not told them that they need to stop. I know tomorrow the ones that are boasting about uh, sit at home, they have continued to make their threats about sit at home. They have 110% uh, uh, compliance. Okay, you sitting at home, you are starving yourself, you are locking yourself up. For no reason. Meanwhile, all the boasting, all the noise, the same full and ginger weeds are all over the place, killing you. And you haven't under, you haven't got it. You, you, you are yet to come to the realization 
that this is a compound mess. Now we also heard that the, the man powerless or powerful, they call him, is now in, living in Abuja. So whatever they have created within that uh, uh, zone, Anambra and uh, uh, Imu particularly, it's on you. It's on you. And yet you have not seen the need to say enough of these things. And unfortunately, some people that don't know where this thing started and what is going on are here running their mouth. People are running their mouth. People are telling you, oh, don't forget about them. And they can. Why don't you go tell them to refund the monies that people paid in for the purpose? So we just forget about it. And uh, I know one day another person, one idiot will come out and tell us that he's going to take us to the moon. Okay? So, my brother, I don't, honestly speaking, I, I don't know if there's any common sense again playing out. Or just uh, people are waiting to be slaughtered. Because that's what it, it seemed like. And in the midst of this thing, the ones in diaspora are making funny of you. I went to a, a, a funeral uh, the other day, or rather a wake and the MC was jokingly, jokingly, uh, uh, insulting uh, uh, unknown gunmen and, uh, and, uh, and they sit at home on Monday as he's praying for the people that is traveling home. They know that these dangers are there. But to stand up, to come together, to help, is zero in the agenda. Rather, they are wearing big gowns, they are sewing uniforms, they are dancing a womb, you know, waist break dance to show off that they are so cultured. Meanwhile, the land is over. Okay, this is so annoying, my brother. It, it, sometimes you don't even know what to say again. Because the, the people who are supposed to know does not care. They are not to come. You know, it's somebody that never knew that this kind of thing will happen to them. So most of them are lost. Because they can freely buy a car and so or buy any Chinese material and so, and, and they are shining. And they think they have arrived. I don't know how else is this message going to get across them, or we have just decided to just keep moping while all these dangers are, are, are happening. You know, Sumeni, is it Sumeni? I believe I watched another video where some people came home. Some people came from my brother. Some travel home to come and bury a, a loved one. And then the same unknown government came there and shot about, if not 10 people, and killed them. Healthy men, dimpa, dimpa. Like even in the anime, barely do you see women killed. It's always men and young men. And our people has not come to a realization that this is, this is systematic. These people are going to invade the land. Whether you like it or not, if you like, you can make all the, all the jokes about it. You can, you can make all the comedy about it because that's what we have ended up doing. Everything comedy. When, even when it's not funny. But so sad. So sad, my brother. And then the, annoying, the most annoying part of it is that the people that say they are governors are, are just moping. They are just moping. They are just acting like they don't, you know, they are not governors any longer. Let, it, let this show play down. Because I have asked this question so many times. 
Is it difficult for these people to mobilize young men and women and, and give them what it takes for them to stop this evil? Is, it, is that difficult? Maybe. Because it's, it seems like everybody is completely lost. My, my reverend, I think I, I, I got enough of this discussion today. I just want to thank you for what you're doing for us. And uh, still calling on people, if they will listen, we talk to them. We have come to know that this fight is our fight. No one else is going to do it for us. No one else. It doesn't matter. The longer you wait to make yourself available, the more danger, the more difficult it is. Because right now, I know that it's really difficult. Even though we are just saying this thing. It's a difficult, it's a difficult you know, program. But I know that with faith, the guy who does his own thing in, in a mysterious way will do something in this situation. I want to thank you again, my brother. Again, I want to mention that May 30th is coming. I believe it's one of the things that are holding us down because we have not remembered these men and women of honor who gave their life for us. Rather, we are spitting on their graves. We have continued to mock their dying by not remembering them. Some people we see you on the street, oh, Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. You may know Nuku, not sick of Biafra. Some people will ask you, oh, how is it going now? Yeah, Biafra, no, have But you forgot that people, 3.5 million and counting, died for the name of Biafra. And we must remember them. 30th of May is the day. It's a Monday. Unfortunately, I know a lot of people will go to work, but I will be here. That day is reserved for them. If you if you deem this very important thing, it's a month from now. You can take one day off from your work. If you are here in California or Los Angeles or Los Angeles area, I'm inviting you. The door is open. All we need to do is to gather, discuss, reflect on what, and remember these people who have paid the ultimate price for us, and talk about strategies on how to make this thing larger subsequent years, because we have seen the Armenians during the years, unless we are not humans, because for whatever reason, I'm believing that we are not even want to be here. All we want is ready-made. So please, anyone in Los Angeles area, if you're in Horton, Gardena, Culver City, name it, East LA, Corona, everywhere around LA, my door is open for you for this uh, occasion come 30th of May. Uh, thank you very much, my reverend. May God bless you. And I will say all hell, dear friend. And God bless you, dear friend, all of us of freedom. There we are. Amen. There we are, sir. Thank you for joining me. And of course, the truth cannot be overemphasized. We keep doing what we can until we get our people completely back on track. A lot of things are not right, but we cannot pamper worse. We continue addressing and treating issue. And of course, with time, we will be done with this rescue mission. Just trying to salvage all that is left of us. Let us be sincere. Let us be genuine. Let us be purpose-oriented individuals. Sincerely applying principle as regards to what we came out to do. All will be fine. Don't allow people to talk you into what is not real do the right thing let us see the next generation i appreciate those of you calling to make your contribution 
And I apologize to those of you I will not be able to take their call this evening. Tomorrow is another day we'll continue from there. Our brother Adogu, Agwanyi, and of course our dad in the Lord Mass you be the you you are all highly appreciated. And on this note I sign off from here. Don't forget we are in May. We must remember all those who have died for the sake of Biafra and those who continue to die even for the sake of Biafra. Good night from here. They will know. Biafran's Got Talent exclusive. After this heavy After this rain, heavy rain, 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 please let the sun rise. Our lives are in danger, siblings and more that all day long we have been ruled by strangers. Let's go on a straight, restore our land and heal our hearts.